<laughs> Hello, welcome to Bridgerton Fancast. We're a fan created podcast about the Netflix show Bridgerton, and you're listening to a commentary track for the episode 107. We are your hosts. I'm Michelle. I live in the States. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram um, at Musings. I'm Rita. I live in England and I'm taking time off social medias. So that was an intro, Mm -hmm. like abrupt and aggressive. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. What is she going to do? Stop shooting! Who is is he shooting with? Who is that person? (laughs) Just some (laughs) random person in a wig. (laughs) A bad wig. Yeah. That looks attached to the hat. (laughs) Looks like Guy Fawkes. (laughs) Why is he shooting so close to the house? Do you want windows? Oh, and he's oh, yeah. That's Guns and alcohol, that's always a good idea. Gunpowder guns as well, so you know that shit's volatile. Mm-hmm. Also, is this song German? Is she having Prussian-related regrets? <laughs> oh my god, pigeons. <laughs> oh my god. How how is he able to fire off that many sheets without shots without reloading? Like what's happening there? Snarl, snarl. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I hate it when you can hear the cutlery. Yeah. Ugh. Why don't you, uh, you talk to each other? This is so <laughs> awkward. <sighs> Stop slamming shit. <laughs> Currently, while we were watching this episode, I can hear gunshots outside because it is shooting season and it's <laughs> just very confusing for me because they were just shooting on screen. <laughs> A scandal. Scandal. How fortuitous for Shonda that the same... <laughs> Name of her show <laughs> is mentioned in this episode so many times. Where's Olivia Pope when you need her? <laughs> wow, you know, and all of the staff there are just like, okay, now we know all of their private business. Can we just shrink into... Why are they doing this so openly? I I just want to shrink into the wallpaper. I feel so (laughs) bad for them. Stop making this... All of the... Oh, he looks sad. Mm Mm-hmm. All the servants know all of their business. Yes. It's just embarrassing. Oh, no. Uh Why are they even leaving the house? Exactly. Why is she out of the house? <laughs> well, Penelope, <laughs> Penelope, <laughs> um, not so much a victim in this situation. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> The 
her French accent is insane. Mm-hmm. The fact that she's pulling one over on the whole of the ton is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think there's much hope for her personally. <laughs> Why didn't they try this sooner? I would have just got rid of her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just stick her in a home. <laughs> well, you presume incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Portia's like, what's the point of marrying Rich if your yeah. husband's a doofus? <sighs> a spendthrift. There's a word, spendthrift. We do love a good Regency word. Yes. See, she's in London, she's back in her cloaks. They didn't exist in the countryside, but she's finally warm. <laughs> this is very <laughs> rude. Colin, you're an absolute moron. Idiot. You're beautiful. But so, so dim. Why is Anthony the only one that makes sense in this family sometimes? Mm -hmm. it's like, ugh. How did she get a copy <laughs> of Whistledown in the countryside? <laughs> Dude, yes, you do. <laughs> Yay, Daphne to the rescue. Mm -hmm. This, of course, plays mm -hmm. into Violet's general. <laughs> She's, she is. She is so pissed at her mom. Accurate. Vi so Violet's whole MO is mom. just. Let's all pretend everything's fine all of the mm -hmm. time and just pleasant and nice and never deal with anything. I mean, if a duke and a duchess can't get an invitation, what is even the point? Yeah, well, Colin, you got yourself in a bit of a oh. mess, didn't you? <laughs> Go ahead, stomp off like a 19-year-old. Peak, peak teenage yes. behavior. Mm -hmm. Him and Eloise just grind my gears. He just, he just flounced off. <laughs> <laughs> he did a flounce. Because he was going to do the grown-up thing of running away to marry someone. And his family yeah. have intervened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of are foolish. Mm-hmm. No, she can't possibly understand that emotion mm -hmm. at all. Mm. Can't you just, like, write her a note or something? Seriously. Anybody who oh, romanticizes God. mythology for me is like, no. There's so much rape in <laughs> appropriate mm -hmm. for this show, maybe, but no, thank you. But at least he at least he's picked up on something. Here's the thing about Colin. He's probably the most emotionally intelligent member of his family, but he's mm. very bad at his own love life. Yeah. Well, that'll make you feel better. Stop punching oh. things! Can you maybe let him focus yeah. on his own shit? He's been dragged into so much of your fuckery, including mm -hmm. a jewel? Mm -hmm. This is a very one-sided friendship. 
Hey, will you look at his shoulders? Yeah. It's actually laughable to think that he had any chance in a fight against... Uh, honestly. <laughs> I don't think his muscles are for show. Though they are very showy. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, vows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's trying to do the maths. Does one vow outweigh the other vow? Like, which vow mm-hmm. is the important vow? And to be fair, mm-hmm. that's maths I can't sort out either. Oh no, just remembered what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Are we forced to talk through all of the sex? Uh... Uh, uh... Just have a conversation. <laughs> like, oh god. Has he ever met Colin? Question mark. Mm, I don't know. I mean, they might have been in the same room, but I don't think we can have a conversation, guys. But... It's been like tw- 12 hours since you've been in London. He would have had to move <laughs> very quickly. This is before Snapchat. Like, how do you even get somebody? <laughs> you can't text <laughs> you up. <laughs> this is a mistake. Mm-hmm. But they continue to be the horniest people in London. So we love consistency. Staircases are not comfortable. Yeah, no. Like that no. I mean they sound they sound this sounds like a, a sexy, wonderful moment, but there I'm are just there's no at carpet. Her arch thinking, no. There's no carpet. Those steps are also really shallow. So that's not yeah. that's not helpful. <laughs> Sorry, his face after he finished was like he just. Mm-hmm. It's he, like, nope, we're just... done. Yep, yeah, nope. Yeah. It's like, it's like, no, we're done. That is so depressing. I mean, you're 50% responsible for this. Uh Uh-huh. She's just got such an attitude. Girl, I really like how that door opens. Yeah, me too. Ooh, she rich now. Uh Uh-huh. Well, this is awkward. How would they let her out the house again? <laughs> Just mm-hmm. Portia. If I were her, I'd lock her in her room. Mm. That is a beautiful dress. Very bad chaperone. Like, the chaperoning in this family is god-awful. He's got on a really nice waistcoat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little teary eyes. Mm-hmm. 
Girl, you could have said sorry. He wasn't talking about you getting pregnant. God, he didn't even shame you for that. How about you not treat people like shit? Mm-hmm. Girl, bye. You suck. <laughs> Good luck with being pregnant and alone. Mm-hmm. It's literally the only situation where what she did wouldn't have been shitty. But no. Mm-hmm. You played yourself, Marina, by being such a shit. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Bye. Oh. Well, you didn't really give too much of a shit about that yesterday, did you? Ooh. Well, here we go. Luncheon time. Yes. That that man wasn't even playing the violin <laughs> like the string. I know. I know. The string touching you. <laughs> like an inch above the. Yeah. It's like. Please oh hire people God, who hilarious. have seen an island before. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's delightful. She's like beating people with this. Gross. Can you not ask people how much they're fucking? Like... I know, right? Especially in front <laughs> of the children. And that would be Violet. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Has everyone forgot they're at a garden party? Because the topics of conversation are crazy. Nobody's talking about the weather. No. <laughs> okay, Eloise. <laughs> That's a terrible cut. <laughs> I love those bows. It's like that pause. What are you actually doing with your days, Eloise? Because <laughs> not finding Whistledown and you're not preparing for your debut. It's. Mostly just panicking, it seems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay, golly gang. <laughs> It looks so windy. What's happening here?
Oh, honey. Honestly, did she think that the, it would be okay for them to show up? Did she even I think? I mean, you've got to try. I love the audacity. These outfits are insane. Lady Calper scoffs. That isn't noticeable at all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The thing <laughs> is, she's not going to do that. <laughs> hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. Of course she's going to try and spin it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She has three daughters. Why is everyone not willing to just play along with her plan? It's not their fault that they had a pregnant chick under their roof. Yeah. It's so windy. It's very distracting. Like, I'm just looking at all their hair pieces, like, blown mm -hmm. around. Hello, you're all <laughs> judging each other constantly. And that's why we love this show. Oh, yeah. For the judging. Oh, I love this show. Oh. Look at all those fake flowers. God. I know. They did a really good job with the fakeness. Oh, here we go. It's the face off. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. She needed advice two weeks ago. Where were you then? Yeah, probably. Microphone drop. Mm hmm. Hmm. Violet, you suck. And at some point, you need to say sorry for this. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> she's like, girl. He's like, girl, he's like, girl, girl bye. What? I Tell know. The that, whole thing. <laughs> that, that look on her face. <laughs> was like, bitch, please. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look, if it wasn't for his habit. Miss Thompson wouldn't have even been in that house. She would have been someone else's problem. I could watch her forever. <laughs> she just reacts mm -hmm. to things. Me too. And it's beautiful. Don't apologize to her.
Oh god, two idiots in crime. Crane. We're gonna make him marry you, girl. Just c keep up with the plan. Mm-hmm. Honestly, this should have been her first thought when she got pregnant was how can I rope this man into marrying me because mm -hmm. it's his fault not how can I rope some other guy who had no fault in this into marrying me <laughs> yeah yeah because it's his responsibility not Collins come on everyone mm -hmm. God, Marina is so useless. Marina, you why haven't you tried this? You've been pregnant for how many months now? You've never thought to try and track him down by yourself. I, I, mm -hmm. How can I support this woman when she doesn't do anything for herself? At every turn, she's had Penelope doing shit for her, Portia doing shit for her, and now this. Just absolutely useless. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, son, who are you kidding? All of our yes, it is. <laughs> Give us enough money, we're out of here. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you better get up and get your behind out of my house. Got me look at him. He's like a full foot taller. Maybe in like season two, Will starts his own business or something and he buys Featherington's estate. Mm. I would love that. That would be delicious karma. Buy his house, Will! Mm hmm. He is really like the classic <laughs> yin and yang. You've got one guy who does everything for his family and another guy who's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Do you think he was standing on a box for when they were looking each other in the eye? Because there's no way that happened. Okay, bye. <laughs> Run away! Run okay. away! That was all good. Run fast, run far. Bye-bye. George, don't do it. Oh, Rose, if you only knew what had happened on those stairs, you would not be so... <laughs> <laughs> I think you probably would have had to be more specific about which general seeing as this notes. Here we go, party <laughs> time! 
I'm coming. Mm-hmm. It's time for the oh, ladies to have the some fun. Exploded. Oh, I love this dress. This is like <laughs> she's truly in yeah. her married lady vibes. Yes. Oh my god, you can have fun and shit. <laughs> and Daffy's like, what? Really? I mean, when you think about how much wealth is in that room, it's truly disgusting. Look at the jewels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, cries in poor lady. Yeah. Oh, Lucy Granville. <gasps> I loved Kitty. She has great eyebrows, and for that, I much, much love her. <laughs> wow, that is very easy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're all about to lose a shit ton of money. Never trust a game that is that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cigar and booze combo. Yes, girl. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, this just this just looks less fun. It, seriously. Wait, is this? The scene where they have another fight. <laughs> I don't know. They're <laughs> always they fighting. Just be friends. They're supposed to be best friends. <sighs> like me. Oh, Anthony, get oh, the fuck out of here. My patience has run out. Ugh. And she's gone. It's not who you well, think it is. She'll be back next week, won't she? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. That girl's cute too. Sleep with mm -hmm. her. I don't care. Just get the <laughs> fuck over it. Move on. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I order drinks too. <laughs> it's just there's too many diamonds happening right now. I'm feeling so poor. And <laughs> chandeliers. <laughs> That dress is insane. <laughs> Kitty is so cute. <laughs> He's quite mopey though. Sometimes you just gotta have a girl's day. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Danbury wins everything. <laughs> Huzzah! And the bubbles. <laughs> So annoying. I love that. <laughs> no, he's talking to you about beer. <laughs> Sincerely. Well, you say so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh.
He's he's got this special <laughs> vow that he's got to keep. Where? Where? No, he's not. Like, calm down. I mean, don't talk about his daddy, but also hilariously true. Mm-hmm. How dare you? He's trying his best. It's quite poor sometimes, but he's trying. Anthony exhales deeply is the best screen. <laughs> Three. Two. Don't mention his daddy. One. <laughs> on full Wolverine. <laughs> it's like they're having a daddy issues off. Who are we? Yes. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Anthony's going to kill you for like the third time in a row. Mm hmm. He's fucked up his face and everything. Why do you enjoy being punched in the face? And why does it have to be by Anthony? <laughs> he's got like some weird kink where he's smiling after getting beaten. Mm -hmm. Well, she drunk. Yeah, she is. Can't you get a valet to help you? Or is the shame too deep? This is like the fifth time you've been beat up this season. Yeah, seriously. No. Anthony, beat your ass. Again. <laughs> <sighs> Jeffrey's not had enough. Every week seriously. he has to patch him up. She's so... Oh. How much can it sting if you were smiling after you got hit in the face? Make it make sense. He's got like three different personalities. Mm-hmm. This would be so cute if they didn't have gigantic issues they should be talking about. Yeah. Because daddy issues. Mm-hmm. Read the room, Daphne. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we're... We're not going to do that now. Well, try asking properly and then you will understand. I love that she's like, please unfurl yourself to me. And then as soon as he does, she's like, will you suck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, that's not good communication skills. <laughs> there was nothing that he said that would have made you happy. So did you. 
Yeah, it's stupid, but can you at least help him process his trauma here? You, yeah, it can be undone, babes. That, that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, people. You need a mediator. Like, what's happening here? I love that he's just opened up about his father and she's made the entire situation about herself. Go! Go listen to some Adele. <laughs> Look at her, she's living the life. She must have such a hangover. Oh, yeah. Yep. <sighs> I wish I could do some wax sealed letters. That would be <laughs> so romantic. I love the, the Featherington coat. Ruin it. <laughs> Doing it. The feathering coat of arms has a bunch of feathers on it, and it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Bridgerton coat of armor has bridges? <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I know, and there was so much drama at that luncheon. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I love how she gives him the cold shoulder and then he gets upset. I know, and then, <laughs> and then when he does, she's okay. like, what? <clears throat> Is that how everybody checks for period blood? Appar apparently so. That's not how I check, but I don't live in the 19th <laughs> century. Oh, Penelope's fake, smiling and nodding. So they have to do their job and also write a column on the side. That seems stupid. I love how much Penelope has no faith in Eloise ever finding out. She's like, yes, yes, you'll do that. That's going to happen. Totes. Bye. That's right. Yeah. I'll just yeah. Love Bye. Good luck with that. <laughs> See, this is the scene that really cemented my hate for Marina. She's a duchess. You're right. Oh, 
Marina, that was rude. And also, hella mm-hmm. overdramatic. Calm down. Yes. Here we go. He's finally considering you a man. <laughs> hey, don't be a little <laughs> shit. He pays for everything you own. <laughs> <laughs> you would be Gosh, stupid, you. but we love you, and you'll grow up. <laughs> and also, have you checked out Penelope recently? She's pretty cute. He'll be fine. He's fine. He'll get married next season. I love ostrich plumes in hair, okay? Don't be a hater. Mm -hmm. I like them more than those tiny roses in your hair, for example. Oh, Violet, here's you learning something from your mistakes. She'll never feel prepared. She does look very pretty. Yeah, you look thrilled. That is Trini Mm -hmm. Joy's expression. Oh no, hun. What have you missed, like, one day of your period? Mm-hmm. Also, I look more pregnant after I've had a burrito. This is pathetic. <laughs> Here we go. Opera or concert or I don't know what this is. She should have a bigger tiara than that. She's a duchess, after all. I kind of find the ever-present tiaras of people's hair kind of weird. Because, <laughs> like, have you seen this many tiaras on anybody's hair in Regency shows before? No, they were like, it's kind of like a princess. Stick a tiara in her hair. Oh, no. He wants to know what it's like to be gay. Here we go. (laughs) Hey, Mm. beards are a thing. Let him know. It's smiling gay now? Benedict mm-hmm. is full of shit. He mm-hmm. is full of talk and then mm-hmm. does absolutely nothing. Also, this is a grown ass man who is like, wait, so you're in love <laughs> with a man? It's like you look like you're forty <laughs> and you can't what? and you can't process that. You have no proof, Eloise. My theory. 
quite frankly, this wasn't an investigation, was it? No shit, Eloise. Have you been paying attention? Please leave. Three hours is too long. Oh, here we go. I'm going to put something together that I think may do something. I mean, I think people used to take those teas after they had unprotected mm -hmm. sex, not like five months into their pregnancy. Months later, <laughs> yes. Why are you bringing your mistress in front of your... Uh, oh, God, why is this happening? She's not even out in society and you're trying to ruin her already. Mm-hmm. You know, for all her investigations, Eloise is a bit slow. Has not worked out that her brother is seeing her. This is awkward. <laughs> I, I, I just can't. Why did he think this was okay? You wasted that dress. <laughs> oh god the fact that this is put in a flashback none of this is suspicious <laughs> she just said that she's scared of her and you're like well that makes you Lady Whistledown She's making the dresses for everyone in this ton, and somehow she has time mm -hmm. to be Lady Whistledown? She doesn't even <laughs> have seamstresses. <laughs> oh, we've got more people who don't know how to pretend to play a violin. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Anthony, can you be less dramatic? For five seconds, just be chill. Yeah. That guy looks really weird. He's got very strange hair. It's very puffy and elaborate. Oh, for God's sake. She's going to make a tea. just dramatic tea making which is bizarre it's very well edited to the music but also just weird choices being made here <laughs> oh These people don't know how to do this, and it's so obvious. <laughs> okay, okay, this is so <laughs> weird. Like, did you, what, what just happened? Huh. 
She's had an attack of the periods. Mm-hmm. Yes. That Jojo Siwa bow in her hair is just weird. Push is just like, do we let her die? Would that be more easy? It's like, no, damn, we've got to pay for a stupid doctor. Wow, her flow is heavy and... Yeah, seriously. Just random... Just really, just randomly pops up, boom, and then like a gush of blood. Can you believe the show is written by mostly women? Like, because... <laughs> Moments like this make it. Oh. Periods suck. Oh. He has a feeling. Bummer. <laughs> I love this music. I need to listen to the soundtrack again because it is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Well, that was depressing. It is a heartbreaking episode. It really, yeah, we're really just is. Not having a good time. Oh, that was that was just heartbreaking. And the look on the look on Violet's face. Yeah, you know, she clearly she clearly didn't understand what was happening, yeah. you know, well, but, you know, she knows that her, her, her girl is absolutely distraught. And so she knows that things are not right <laughs> in that marriage at all, at all. <laughs> She's a bit of a slow learner, but she got there by the end. Yeah, she yeah. did. She did. Oh. Okay. Well, gang, that's all from us this week. Uh, if you want to get in contact, then please email us at inthebooksnetwork at gmail.com, which is the name of our new podcasting network. Um, if you want to find us elsewhere, we are in the books, all one word, on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and all of the usual places. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week with a commentary track for the final episode of season one, one oh eight, and soon, soon we'll be able to say two point one. Ah, <laughs> it's coming. We'll say because it's Bridgerton month, people. Yes, God. yes, it's March. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, we will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.